Hey guys, this is iMovie How To here showing you iOS 7 Beta, the new version of Apple's mobile operating system. It came out on Monday and I'll be showing you today the new camera app and how it affects the video capture function in iMovie. So let's first look at the iOS 7 lock screen. If you move your phone around in different directions, the background will move around with it. You can also choose from several motion backgrounds as well as still picture backgrounds from the settings app. So I'll just slide to the right to unlock. So if you scroll over to iMovie, you open it up. iMovie basically looks the same as it did in iOS 6 so far. So we tap plus to start a new project. Though what the new like the pop-up menus look kind of messed up on all the iOS 6 apps. So you can just tap new project. So everything in iMovie worked the same as it did in iOS 6, except that if you tap on the live video icon, the iMovie app just crashes. So now I'll be showing you the new iOS 7 camera app. So once you go in the camera app, there are several different modes. So there's video mode, photo mode, square photo mode, and panoramic mode. So in iMovie, you can't take videos anymore because that, fun that function is broken for now. So now I'll take a new video in the camera app by tapping on the red circle icon. And I'll stop my video by pressing on the red square icon. And now I can go to, whoa, it's glitching. I can go to photo, do something similar. I can just press on the red circle, take a photo. I can also look, take a look at the filters, built-in camera filters. You can see like half these are black and white, These are, and then some of those are like stylized effects. So I can just try something, I can just try this one, process, I can take another picture. So now I can see I can go back to iMovie, put it up. So in iMovie, one of the things that look a little bit different interface wise is exporting movie to the camera rolls. So now I'll press the share button and one of the things that look different is a look of the camera roll icon. When I tap on it, it will ask me what resolution I want to export it in, and it will look up with a similar cutoff looking pop-up menu. Um, I'll just select 1080p from the menu, and once it's done exporting, I will briefly go to the new Photos app. Then it just tells me that it's exported the camera roll with this nice new pop-up window. I press OK. Go back to the home screen. I'll scroll over to the new Photos app with the updated icon. And we notice that the interface is all plain white. We go to our movie, play it, and we notice that it just plays just fine. Also, in iOS 7, there's an additional way to open the camera app. You can just swipe up to reveal control center, and then you can tap on the camera icon in the far left corner. And that basically allows you to access the camera app from anywhere. Also in control center, you can toggle between useful options like airplane mode, in Wi-Fi, you can adjust the volume and brightness, and you can open quick, useful apps and more. Thank you for watching this iOS 7 beta video. If you'd like to see more iOS 7 beta videos, like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more iMovie videos or other videos I have on my channel, click on the video above. Thank you for watching this video.